welcome to my channel. Ever since my coaster didn't really work out uh, with the net effect, um, I was trying to do this in a much larger scale, uh, hoping that this time it would work much better. So as you can see, I have here on the right side, on the bottom, is the coaster that I made with the same effect. And, uh, but this is like the back side. The front side is not uh, seen yet. And I will link the video where I made those coasters uh, up in the right corner. So what I'm doing here now is I mixed uh, white pigment paste with my resin. This is the least amount I have. Then I mixed the red um, liquid colorant into my resin. And the most of it, uh, of the resin, is like yellow with liquid colorant. It's no alcohol inks. And um, yeah, and I put a little bit sparkle in there as you just seen. And um, yeah, and then we are about ready to pour. And you got to stir really, really good because otherwise you will have some uh, shading into your coasters or whatever piece you're making um, and you don't want that. At least I don't. So what I'm doing now, I'm pouring a thin line of the white on the rim of my mold. And now I'm taking the red colored resin and do just the same. And I put it right beside the white resin. Right on, on there. From the red resin you can use a little bit more or maybe a lot more because this is a big mold and it needs to be filled up so it has to have some kind of uh, resin in there. So that the yellow and the red doesn't mix all together and there is some still yellow resin visible, I will uh, I just pour this clear layer around uh, or inside um, the red one and now I'm filling up my mold with the yellow resin and what that does it it, it pushes everything up to the edge of the coaster or of the piece that you're going to be pouring I need to fill up a little bit more of the white in there and I'm just pouring it really careful just on top of the white, not on the red and not on the yellow, just on the white because otherwise it will drop everywhere else and you won't like that. So just the rim on the, uh, on the white, I pour my white. And I do the same thing with uh, the red resin, I pour it just on the red resin on top, so um, I hope this makes sense what I'm trying to tell you. So I just have a little bit more of the red resin in, in inside of my mold. And it pushes the white back again. I have here a little uh, bottle of glass shards in silver, oops, one just came out, and I'm dropping them just in the middle of my piece, and then I will take my silicon, pen, uh, silicon uh, brush, and I will like 
really spread out in the way that I like it. And yeah, I gotta put this one back in the middle. Um, so it is in the center and it's a little bit spread out so uh, it gets a little bit larger and it's not going to be sitting there just in like one big lump. I take my little torch, get rid of the surface bubbles that I can see, and then this is it. I have now the video sped up 50 times so you can watch how, how the resin moves. I think this is like really interesting to see. And here's a close-up uh, of the piece, like right after I poured it. And um, as you can see, the white uh, like really gets into the middle and it takes on the edges the red with it. It drags the, the red on the back of that piece with it in the middle. It's about 9 or 10 hours later and uh, as I just looked at this, uh, I was already disappointed uh, thinking that it didn't work the way that I wanted. Boy, was I wrong. Now just look at the front. Can you see the sparkle? Don't you like it? I love it. I'm in love with this piece. I really do. So what I'm going to do, I'll make a bowl out of it. And this time it's going to be having three corners. And uh, yeah, I just let it run because uh, you probably have seen this uh, plenty of times, um, how you just do a bowl out of a flat piece. So it is the next day and you can see the sunlight is coming through the window uh, in my studio because this is a roof window and I'm having kind of a hard time uh, filming because the lighting is so messed up. So look at this. Can you see the sparkle? Don't you love that? Mm, I just, I'm in love, I tell you. <laughs> I decided to put some feet on that bowl and um, this is the leftover resin that I have from that pour of that bowl and I put it in that little mold that I have here for my little feet. If you want to see how I made that mold I will link uh, in the right corner the video how I made this mold for them, for them little feet. I chose three of those little feet uh, in the almost same color as the bowl and uh, I have a nail file here. You can hardly see it because of the sunlight. But it's just a nail file and I'm um, sanding away the sharp edges and flatten out the bottom of those uh, balls.
Now I put my little feet down and uh, try how they work when my bowl is on top. Therefore I put the bowl just on top of there and see whether it sits or not. Just on top, just like that. And that fits perfectly. So I leave it just like that and I don't do nothing else to them. I don't move them. But what I'm going to do is I put some uh, UV resin on top of those uh, flat sides. Just like a drop uh, or two. So it domes just a little bit. Um, and when I put the bowl back on, it will just stick on there. Well, for UV resin, you need a, a lamp, and I just got that one. So what I'm doing now, I'm putting my bowl down. There's no room for mistakes. I'm just putting it down and let it sit. And then I turn my light on and I let it sit inside the bowl for about uh, three cycles of a 90 second uh, interval, something like that. And I do the same thing on the back side. When this is hardened on the front, I turn the bowl around and I put the lamp just on top of it, as you can see here, and uh, put the light three times on on 90 seconds. It may vary uh, with your UV resin that y'all use but uh, usually it should be hard by then. So the bowl is ready. I will put some pictures in the end and a little uh, clip on how it looks on the uh, in the sunlight and I hope you like it as much as I did. If you like my video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. It enables me to make more videos for y'all and it shows YouTube that the people are interested in the things that I do. Thank you.